welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we are going to be reviewing more planes. Sorry I'm a little bit off of my schedule, but um, it's been kind of busy. Here we have the Echo Hyperspeed. That's an interesting number of intakes you have there, Master Map Maker. Which, by the way, Master Map Maker sent me this plane, I don't know, ages ago, and I'm really sorry I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, I feel pretty bad about that, that I just kept forgetting about it or doing other stuff, and you know, I mean, I'm sorry, dude. But, um, hmm. It's a very interesting design. I like it. Hmm. Well, let's see how it flies. Okay, here we go. And, uh, well, it looks nice. Uh, one thing I would recommend is I don't think you have any struts connecting this uh, connector piece, this bicoupler, to the rest of the plane. And you really should put some struts there, like maybe just one or two, I don't know, but um, because that will cause issue because it's, um, what do you call it, it's, you know, words fail me sometimes. It's a weak point, that's the word I was looking for, or the words as the case is, two words, not, not one, because I'm smart. Um, the real pro the only problem with this plane I'd say so far is that, um, like, I don't know how high I can really get with it, because these radial intakes, if I remember correctly, they're not very good. Like, see, we've already dropped to point three eight out of 1. Like, if you look at the intake air, it's just dropping rapidly, and we're not even, we're not even up to high altitudes yet. We're barely at 3 kilometers. Um, I do like how controllable your plane is, and I just realized I forgot to turn on precision controls, which would explain why I was having trouble uh, lining up the way I wanted to. But, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this plane can't get too high because it's, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see how high it can go. Uh, sorry if I flame out your engines. I might, because I might try to push it a little higher than it can go. But one thing I recommend you do is uh, use ram air intakes when available. Uh, these are pretty good. See, those, those are still got quite a bit of air intake. Well, you know... Like, these are going to drop off almost entirely while these are going to have enough air for you, or something like that. I actually don't quite know about how to how to effectively use air intakes, except I know air, the ram intakes are the best. Or, I'm pretty sure they are. They, I, you know, to be honest, I'm not actually even sure about that. Um... Okay, this is this is getting higher than I expected it to get, so that's good. I'm gonna uh, level off about, you know, I'm not actually gonna level off, but I'm gonna sorta. Let's see. Uh, oops. Okay, there we go. So we're going to climb very slowly, basically. It's a nice design. It definitely... well... It looks nice, but these these intakes that are plastered all over the sides... I really don't like that. Like, it's it looks just kind of strange, you know? Like, it doesn't look bad. It's not that bad. But it's just... it's different. And it's not my style, you know? That kind of thing. Um, sorry if I'm kind of worse than usual at this, like, telling you what's up with the plane and whatnot. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of tired, <laughs> to be honest. I'm a little tired. Um, you know, going to college, uh, this semester, my class schedule is, uh, just right to leave me with a lot less free time than I had last year, or last semester. Uh, which was also last year, so shut up, you're dumb. Um, but yeah, I guess you told me to take it up as high as I could and go as fast as I could and 
I, that's what I'm trying to do. Let's hope it works out all right. Oh, okay, yeah, no time warp. Okay. It doesn't like time warp. It gets unstable. Yay. Well, not yay, but, you know, jokingly yay. <clears throat> of course, I can make this thing stall out right now by just pulling up real sharp. Suddenly. It's kind of interesting how the the angle of attack actually affects how much air you get, which is pretty cool. I like that. Hmm. Oh, hey, that's interesting. Air speed is 700, whereas our surface speed is only 600. Is that because we're so high up? What's our orbital speed? That's interesting how the air speed is different from the other speeds. Um... Also, I'm not quite sure, but I think we're going to start running out of intake air. I'm not sure how low you can push the engines without them uh, starting to give out. Because, uh... I know that they can go to pint 5. Pint 5? But I'm not sure, uh, how much lower they can go. I know they can go lower. But I'm pretty sure at that point you have to start throttling down. So, I'm going to go ahead and throttle down the tiniest bit right now. This thing likes to pull up ever so slightly at these high altitudes, which is not a good sign. Let me see. Is that? No, that's, that's fuel. Okay, let's stop fuel flow and let's transfer some fuel into that. That'll help us uh, keep from pulling up as much by transferring the weight. Also, I'm kind of scared I'm just going to make it flip out right now. But uh, we're still gaining speed and we're still gaining altitude. I'm going to turn down the throttle a little bit. Oh, well now we're losing speed because I turned down the throttle. Okay, uh, there we go. Got rid of those. But we're still gaining altitude and uh, I don't know, I'm going to push the throttle back up a little bit and see if it can handle it. I don't know if it can. I'm going to just put it all the way back up. I'm really sorry if I flame out your engines. I might. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I pretend to know what I'm doing when I'm making these, but let's be honest. I have no clue. No, I'm just kidding. I, I usually have a pretty good idea what I'm doing. I'm getting really scared about how much intake air you have though in this plane. Like, it's getting lower. Lower all the time. I really should not be recording right now. I only have, uh... I only have, what, 19 minutes to get ready for school and I'm trying to record an episode? Yeah. See, today's a Tuesday. Tuesdays and Thursday, I, I, I have... Tuesdays and Thursdays might as well not exist for how much free time I have. Wow, these engines are going really far without running out of intake air. It's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the flight here because um, this is kind of boring, to be honest. And also, just... It's... Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and fly this real fast again to uh, do a, uh, like, just try landing it the way I always do and see how well it responds to landing that way. If I don't break the engines off first, that is. Oh, wait. Because <laughs> I almost did on takeoff right away, because I'm dumb. I also put up the landing gear because, again, I'm dumb. But, uh, I'm just gonna land this real fast. Then I have one other plane to check out in this video. And then I'm done for today. And I'm hoping I can get this edited and uploaded today so it can come out tomorrow on Wednesday. Uh, today's the 22nd when I'm recording this, if you're uh, curious. Nosedive. Who needs to come down at a safe speed? Oh. Whoa.
There we go, touchdown. I really love how well this thing glides and how easy it is to land. Um, if there's anything I like about this plane, okay, like, to, I, to be honest, I don't like it that much because of all these intakes, like the way they're, like I, like I said, I, I don't really like these intakes at all, pretty much. Um, but I really love the shape of your wing. Like, that looks very nice. That's a very nice wing. Um, I like how easy it is to fly, how easy it is to control, and I love how easy it is to land. And and your landing gear placement is very nice, too. Um, yeah. Overall, I'd say it's a very good design. It's just not my style, you know? Next, we have the... What the fuck? So, what? I use those to get airborne and then use this to actually stay airborne? <sighs> I saw a picture of this thing flying and it, you know, it didn't have this lower section, so... So it kind of startled me when I loaded it up and saw that. Let's, let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. The first thing I notice about this, um, well... First of all, it's very strange with all these engines on the front. Um, the second thing I notice is I uh, these wing tips at the end are really cool, and that was kind of loud. And um, the third thing I notice is that ah, I'm having a little bit of con difficulty uh, controlling it. Oh, oh, oh! Don't, don't flip out. Whoa! Oh shit! That. That almost killed us, right there. Oh. Oh, shit, I just dropped... What the hell? Oh, I guess those are the bombs. Um, yeah. Kind of hard to control. Anyhow, I like how you drop the landing gear as part of how this thing flies. Like, you drop the landing gear. That's that's really cool because that means you're, uh... What do you call it? You're like, you know, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? You're you're not carrying a lot of unnecessary weight around because landing gear are quite heavy. Landing gear are quite possibly the worst thing ever for a solar powered plane because simply because it'd be uh... oh we're gonna lose power entirely in a moment here come on stop oh god we're gonna run out of power okay oh shit I think we've lost control no wait still have control Cool. Um, yeah, the sun is not at a good angle for flying right now. Let's see, what does this say? Come on, I'm trying to right click on the panels, but it's not working. Oh, but now we're falling. Hold on. Let's turn this way. Whoa, this thing flies very nice, though. I really like it. Um, I really like it, and I like how crazy it is because it's a uh, solar plane. Does it have an SAS? Of course it doesn't have an SAS, but um, I really want it to uh, stay pointing the other way so that we can keep it flying well while going this way. It flies very nice, you know, for, for what it is, you know, because ion planes are kind of ridiculous. But um, nonetheless, it flies very nice. I can't help but notice um, your yaw controls actually work backwards. See, I'm I'm pulling right and it's going left and I'm pulling left and it's going right. <laughs> that's that's very interesting how you managed to make it do that. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'm, it's kind of hard to fly because of the fact that um, I have to like keep it angled towards the sun, obviously. And we're going to go ahead and turn up the throttle, and I like that it's actually gaining some speed. Of course, we were pointing down, so kind of makes sense that it would gain speed. All right, well, I really got to go to school, and uh, like I said, it's a nice design. Um, ion planes are kind of ridiculous anyhow, though, so I mean, it's not like it's, you know, it's... I do like the design, though. It looks very nice. Um, it does look very nice. Um... Yeah, I got I really got to go.
Alright, thanks for watching, etc, etc. I'm gonna do some loops. See you in space.